Hey boys and girls, this is Mitch coming at you from Project Untethered. I just wanted to give you all a quick sneak peek look at Travel Lemming, Nate Heck's new course. It's called the Travel Lifestyle Course. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick look behind the scenes here on what it actually looks like. So here I'm logged in to the dashboard and you can see that it's really nicely laid out here. All the graphics and everything look really professional and everything. Here it shows that there's six mod modules, 11 chapters, and 55 lessons. And there's here's the intro to the course here. Um, and then if we move down a little bit, here along the right side are all the lessons and all the chapters and all the modules broken down. And here we can also see it again. So let's take a look at the different modules here. Um, he pretty much covers everything that you could possibly think of when it comes to starting life as a digital nomad. Um, so module one is what to expect in this nomad life right for you. And so if you click here, you can see the different lessons that he has for this module. And each lesson usually lasts from five minutes to an hour long. I'd say the average is around 20 minutes long. And so this, this first module here is pretty much preparing and helping people decide if this is actually the right decision for them because it's a huge decision. And the thing I like about what he goes over in this course and, and the way he presents things is he doesn't try to hype it up at all. He really lays things out straight for you. And since it's such a big life-changing decision, he doesn't want you to make this decision if it's not for you. So this first module is all about telling you what no bad life is really like, what to expect, what not to expect, big mistakes that um, that new nomads normally make. So I thought that module was really cool. And then moving on to module two, this is another big one. This one's broken up into three different chapters. So it's pretty much everything that you could possibly imagine um, having to do with planning your trip. So the first one is, the first section is all about creating a budget. So here he, especially in these two lessons here, he created these really cool comprehensive spreadsheets where you can pretty much plan out your entire trip and everything about your budget, budget like how long you're going to stay in each destination, what kind of transport you're going to take, what kind of food you're going to eat, what kind of, um, on average, how much you're spending per night. Like, it's super, super cool. And he has all these formulas set up, so you can just plug in your numbers and it will give you your budget, and it's, it's really helpful. I really like that. Um, and then getting ready for your trip. He talks about choosing your destination, what to do with all your stuff back home, um, everything, a checklist of everything you need to do before you're leaving, setting up taxes for the company that you're starting, um, using, using miles to get free travel, planning your return. Um, it's, it's super comprehensive. He did a really good job with this. And so let's look at the other ones real quick. I don't want to make this video too long and I don't want to give away too much of his, his content here. I just wanted to give you a, a sneak peek. So module three is crafting a career that gives you freedom. And this one is really cool because he helps you decide what path is right for you. And he doesn't push one path on you. He, he gives you ideas on things that you can do using what you already know. And then I know a lot of people think that they don't know anything and they don't have any digital nomad skills or anything, but that's just not true for most people. There's, there's things that you're probably not thinking of. So in these modules, he talks about different ways to choose your path and choosing a, a path that's right for you based on your personality, based on what you know. Um, and that's really helpful because for me, for example, when I was first starting out, I didn't know all the different paths. I just found one path and thought it was the only path and went after it, ended up being a bad path and I wasted almost $10,000 and a year of my life working on it. And then I realized, oh, there's all these other paths. Well, I, should have, I wish I would have known this to begin with. So um, super helpful to see everything at the same time right when you're starting instead of after you already 
go down a rabbit hole forever. And so then we have module four, which is he goes over the actual skills that you need to succeed. A lot of the skills, no matter which path you choose, um, a lot of these skills are in, um, the same. No matter which path you choose, you need to learn digital marketing, um, about writing good content, and, and it's all broken up here into different different types of passing careers. So like if you look at content here, um, we have blogging, affiliate marketing, freelance writing, teaching, making courses, teaching online. So there's all the different pathways here that you could choose to become a digital nomad. And the, the cool thing is he, he got a lot of guest speakers to come because obviously he hasn't done all of these things himself. And so instead of just pretending like he knows everything, he found guest speakers to come in and teach these different topics. Now, at the time of this video, there are a few um, pathways where he hasn't found a guest speaker yet. So he just uh, did a quick video overview video and um, gave some further resources, but he said he's looking for more. Um, one of them is the e-commerce e path. And so it's not 100% complete yet, but you can tell that he's working hard to keep adding more and more things in here. So now in module five, so now you've chosen the path that's best for you. You have started learning the skills that you need to succeed in this path. And now that module five is about actually finding work. So he goes over finding remote jobs, how to find freelance clients, how to start your own business. Um, all the different, he covers everything from all the different pathways in, in this module. And then the last one is also a really important, important one that you don't really see much online. It's about more about the psychological stuff about staying healthy, staying happy, not getting lonely, because these are all really real problems that digital nomads have. And when you're just starting out, you might just be thinking, oh, I just want to learn how to mark, earn money and learn how to travel affordably and that's all I need. It'll be great from there. But really there's a lot more things to think about. And once you're on the road, you realize um, that it's a lot more complicated. And so in this last module, he goes over staying safe, safety tips, staying productive, which is huge when you're trying to mix work and travel. It's like two full-time jobs. So you have to be super productive. He goes over Wi-Fi issues because you're gonna, depending on what you're doing, you're gonna be pretty dependent on Wi-Fi. So if you don't know the tricks of the trade of staying connected, that's gonna be stressful. And so that is the entire course here. It is a lot of material to go through. And really I went through it and there weren't many questions that I could think of, possibly think of that he didn't cover in here. And so in addition to his course, I'll, I'll pull up one, um, one lesson for you to just show you what it looks like. So let's go to this one. I, I can't remember what this one was. So each lesson looks like this. It has a video up top, so you can see it's 19 minutes here. And then underneath, on the right side, again, is the, the outline of the entire course. And then here's a summary of what you learn in the video, which is nice because you can go back and um, if you can't remember something and can't remember which what video he talked about something, you can see these summaries here. Then underneath, he'll give you links, and I'm going to try not to show too much of this stuff here. He has a section on extra resources and links, homework assignments, and then... At the very bottom of the page, I'm not going to scroll down there because I don't want to share all this stuff for free. Um, at the very bottom of the page is like a text summary of what's in the video. So if you need a quick refresher and don't want to watch through the whole video or um, you, you're in a place where you can't watch the video and you just want to read, he has that option as well. So this video ended up being a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope it gave you an idea of what to expect if you are considering this course. Um, I really enjoyed this course. Uh, you can tell that he spent a lot of time on it and he's really passionate about it. It's, it's his baby. And um, 
And if you want to read the rest of my review, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just click on the link below the video. And if you're on my site, go ahead and read the rest of the review. And I talk about more specifically all the things that I like and all the things that I don't like about the course to help you decide if it's right for you. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.